Good evening. Let us begin our family devotion by singing the hymn When We Walk with the Lord. <laughs> When we walk with the Lord in the work of His Lord, what a glory we shall sorrow with, while we know His good will, He abides with us He does not treat us as our sins deserve or repay us according to our iniquities. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows how we are formed. He remembers that we are dust. The life of mortals is like grass. They flourish like a flower of the field. The wind blows over it and it is gone and its place remembers it no more. But from everlasting to everlasting, the Lord's love is with those who fear him, and his righteousness with their children's children, with those who keep his covenant and remember to obey his precepts. The Lord his established throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Praise the Lord, you his angels, you mighty ones, who do his bidding, who obey his word. Praise the Lord, all his heavenly hosts, you his servants, who do his will. Praise the Lord, all his works everywhere in his dominion. Praise the Lord, my soul. Let us continue to meditate on Psalm 103. The last two days we were meditating why David was telling his soul to praise God. We learned that only God can forgive our sins. He is the only one who can heal our diseases. He is the only who can 
He is the only one who can redeem us, who can love us, who can heal us, who can satisfy our desires. Like this, so many things we were meditating. Because of all these things, David was telling his soul or he is telling to himself that he should always praise God. Now, let us continue our meditation from verse 10. Why God will have to be praised? Why his name will have to be glorified? When we come to verse 10, David says, We'll have to glorify God or praise him because he does not treat us as our sins deserve. We deserve to be punished. We deserve to be thrown out from the kingdom of God. But he did not do that. The Bible tells us God so loved the world and he sent only begotten son so that none of us will be condemned. He sent his son and he came to this world to die for our sins. Though we deserve to be punished, God did not punish us. He loves us. But because we go away, we suffer. Think about the story of the prodigal son. Why he was suffering in his life? He was living with his father so happily, very peaceful. Everything was there. He lacked nothing. But even then, he was not comfortable with that life. He thought, if I go away very far, if I live alone without my father's love, I will be very happy. So he went away. You know what happened at the end? There was no food. He was starving. He had to walk hard. Probably in, how, in his house, he never walked. He was not knowing the meaning of hard work. But he had to work. But even then, it was not satisfying his stomach. He suffered. He suffered. When he came back, his father did not refuse him. But rather he was waiting for his son to come. This shows the love of God. He doesn't treat us as our sins deserve. He is a forgiving and loving God. That is why he is not repaying according to our inquities. If he will have to punish us for our inquities, we can't do anything in this world. Every day we will be punished because our thinking is not good. Our look is not good. The way we speak is not good. The message which we hear is not good. Finally, the things, the attitude which have what we do is not good. We deserve to be punished. But God is not repaying us according to our deeds. Rather, with great compassion and love, He is forgetting everything. He is forgiving everything. He ignores when we do something wrong. Then further, he says in verse 11, As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. Here, David is giving a warning also. God is compassionate. He is gracious. He loves everyone. But remember, his compassion is on those who fear him. 
if you do not have the fear of god we cannot experience enjoy god's compassion in our life so we'll have to remember that whatever happens in our life we should not go away from the love of god we should always have the fear of god in our life then we can continue to enjoy god's compassion in our life then further he says he says why we have to praise god he knows how we are found he remembers that we are dust the nature of this earth is always there that is why we are always attracted by these earthly things because we belong to this earth we are created from this dust so that earthly nature is always pulling us down it is not allowing us to move towards god this earthly nature is dominating in our life why he is compassionate he knows our nature he knows so well that we are created from this earth this earthly nature is there in us that is why he knows all our weakness that is why he is compassionate though we have god's breath in us he knows our weakness that is why david is telling his soul to praise god as we continue to meditate can we praise god for all the good things which we are receiving which we are enjoying from his hands above all god is so compassionate david is again and again in this psalm he is telling god is compassionate and gracious he is slow to anger abounding in love shall we come to this living god who is patiently waiting for us to come let us clean our hearts let us keep away all the worldly things i am very sure god would bless us when we come to him we can enjoy his compassion and his love as we are going through very very difficult situation let us change our attitude god bless you loving heavenly father though we go through a very very difficult situation most of the times we do not take this reality into consideration we are not taking it so seriously we always think that god is gracious slow to anger but lord slowly your anger is growing we do not know when it will burst on us before that lord we come to your presence forgive all our shortcomings grant us new life so that we can continue to enjoy your compassionate love we can continue to follow your commandments very closely which would bring peace with you lord we commit all of us unto your keeping be with us bless us bless our family meet all our needs help us to enjoy your blessing all through our lifetime in jesus name we pray amen our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of our Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you all. Good night.